Explicit messages were the focus today in the trial of former Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels. Daniels is on trial for destroying evidence and lying to investigators. Today, two of his former employees at the sheriff's office testified, along with an FDLE investigator who's been looking into this case. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson joins us live now at the Clay County Courthouse. Scott? Mary, a lot of this has to do with cell phone records. And when the sheriff started to get in trouble for this, there was publicity and there were possible criminal charges. Well, one thing he did was go to an IT worker at the sheriff's office near the courthouse there and say, I want to turn in my phone and I'd like to get all the data wiped off of it. That raised some suspicion within the agency. Much of the morning testimony in the Daryl Daniels trial centered around an order Daniels gave to this IT worker within the Clay County Sheriff's Office to wipe an old cell phone he had. The IT worker testified he suspected it was to remove information concerning his affair. Isn't it true that it was your impression that he made that statement in conjunction with a concern for his wife? My assumption was that there was some sort of communication on the device with the girlfriend that he didn't want the wife to find out or other people to find out. It was em em embarrassing in some way. Shortly thereafter, that IT worker's supervisor at the sheriff's office was brought to the stand. He says he was uncomfortable with that order and had the phone placed in a safe in case it became evidence in the investigation. When you learned that the defendant had given Dominic Antoniello his agency cell phone and knowing the procedure would be to wipe it, did that concern you? Uh, yes, it did. Why? Uh, most of my experience at the sheriff's office has been as a detective or a supervisor in the detective division. So the news stories that I had seen on the incident from May 6th, uh, I had seen some interviews with Miss Smith saying that she was set up. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. uh, I'd seen some interviews uh, that led me to believe that, hey, uh, the phone would be a piece of evidence in that case. Uh, so it did concern me that it was getting turned back in. And another big issue to come up was the relationship he had with the mistress, an FDLE investigator who really was the main investigator in this case from the state end, has been testifying here for hours. He testified some explicit text messages between Daniels and his mistress, as well as we heard audio from an interview with Daniels. All that coming up tonight at 6. We're live at the Clay County Courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.